previously on Children's Hospital. A sexy handicapped doctor. I'd like to show her my sexy costume. No, no, gee, it's, it's me, Chet. Oh my gosh, thank God. I'd like to take this opportunity to invite myself to the wedding you're going to. Oh, you know, you I can't have... say no because I know you've asked everybody and you're in a real jam and you're afraid of offending me. <laughs> this is actually an emergency, and my, my daughter needs help now. Oh, okay. Which one's your daughter again? What do we got? Nine-year-old, unconscious. Now there's no sign of head or spinal trauma. Hey, sick person delivery boy. Not interested. Yeah, someone get this bald dildo out of here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Imagine a dildo without hair. <laughs> You don't laugh with us. <laughs> Still. <laughs> what is it that you wanted? I am begging you. My daughter needs treatment uh, now. No, I saw your goals. Right. Hey, Chief. Oh, hey, Chuck. Hey, my name is Chet. <clears throat> Actually, I, I wanted to ask you a question. Um, you put stuff in your mouth, right? Because I know this cozy little spot where you can sit across from each other and you can shove stuff in your mouth and I'll shove stuff into my mouth and then we'll bite down on it a bunch of times like this. Uh, uh, hey, Jim. Your ambulance is blocking my driveway and your presence is blocking my peace of mind. Could you move them both, please? Thank you. They say that there's someone out there for everyone. For every puzzle piece, there's another one that fits it just right. But not for me. Someday a real storm will come and smash those puzzle pieces up. Then they'll be broken, just like me. And they'll- Talk to yourself again. <sighs> oh, God! You scared me, Shane. You didn't ask Chief out, did you? No, I tried to, but I got interrupted. When you want something, you gotta just take it. Well, I'm not like you, Shane. It's hard for me to talk to girls. No, you know, that's your problem. You know, too much talk, not enough action. For instance, Chad, I think you're beautiful, and I would really like to go out with you. What are you talking about? I've always been attracted to you, and I could make you feel so good if you just give me the chance. I like to put my hands in those fine breasts. What? Stop it! You're bad. You see what I did? Oh. Oh, wow. What? You were exuding so much confidence, you had me believing I was a woman. One arc in 12, one arc in 12. We have a 2119 on 212 Ipanema Drive. Copy? Copy that dispatch went on our way. I'm gonna have to meet up with you later. But you never go on calls with me. You just give me this advice and then you leave. So I drive, alone again. The life of a paramedic is a lonely one. Hi, I'm Chet. Is this your dad or your boyfriend? One Sandler 12, one Sandler 12. Can you go to grown-ups hospital and pick up a cooler of donor hearts? Copy that, dispatch. <laughs> I tell myself I've been given this job because they trust me. I almost believe that only I can safely deliver a cooler full of human hearts to the empty chest of waiting patients.
suicide. The only answer. Where are we going? Ah! Stop doing that! How'd you get in here so quietly? Hey, you asked Chief out yet? No. And I never will, so just forget about it. Dude, go to the hospital. I'll hide in the closet and feed you cool lines. Like in that sitcom. No. Besides, I can't go to the hospital without official business. Then let's make some official business. See that girl there? Get her with the ambulance, and we have official business. That's nuts. Shit, come on. This is your life. Do it. Take what's yours by any means necessary. It's just a kid. actually do it this is crazy just help me with this kid i can't i'm out of here you know what shane i'm starting to understand why you suddenly have to leave all the time you're imaginary what you're imaginary it all makes sense now ah! stop doing that how'd you get in here so quietly you had me believing i was a woman I'm starting to understand why you suddenly have to leave all the time. You're imaginary. It all makes sense now. You're an imaginary friend that I made up because I'm crazy. You're the projection of the self I wish I was. That's why you can't help me. No, I can't help you because I'm on probation and I have some ecstasy in my sock. I don't need you anymore. Okay. One Corolla 12 to dispatch. I am coming in. Cool medical terms on this guy. We're almost out. Uh, yes. Yeah, I am getting pretty bored anyway. Fun day though, right? Yeah. All this hostage stuff. It was, yeah. Oh, and the towel fight this morning. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, you're you're naughty. I hear it. <laughs> yeah. Goodbye, guy. We don't really care about. Okay. See ya. Dildo out of here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you can shove stuff in your mouth, and I'll shove stuff into my mouth, and it won't bite down on a bunch of times like this. I have a. <laughs> I'm sorry, I totally thought you were not real. Oh, 
it's okay, dude. Sometimes I come off as fake because I like to party. you what well just me everybody else is kind of mad because you killed shane mm. but i missed you i missed you too chief and maybe sometime you and i could go get some food and put it in our mouths like you could put it in the mouth some chaps mm. hey <laughs> dummy why are they taking you to jail we need this bed hey this business between me and Chief. Chief? Uh, who's Chief? You didn't ask Chief out, did you? 